<laughs> well, we are on different sides of the law. Well, the last time we had interaction was almost 20, 20. years ago, yes. I had to come for you in Germany. That's like a lifetime ago. One king. Hmm. The Jamaican who instigated Seven different prison riots in four different prisons, all while serving 70 year sentence. Allegedly, my friend. <laughs> Allegedly? <laughs> they were so afraid of you that they signed, they let you off, commute the sentence and sign your deportation order all in one day. <laughs> and a group of elite Jamaican sleepers had to be flown in to escort me back to Jamaica personally. So where's that person now? Dead. A much older and wiser man replaced him. Oh really no? You must know that I have been quietly watching from the shadows, right? <laughs> I wouldn't be king if I didn't know. And you wouldn't be Mullins if you weren't. I must tell you that I have a whole heap of respect for you. You raised your daughter and kept her out of all this nonsense. And she not only did well, she excelled. Sir Mullins, the system was unfair to me. But I had to make it work for her. You know what? How is she doing? Come on, Sir Mullins. I'm quite sure you are aware of exactly how well she's doing. By the way, I am not even half of the entry. Let me go offer you something, man. I'll be back in a second. Not a problem. Here you go, my friend. Thank you, my friend. Cheers. Cheers. Here's to those that wish us well. And those who don't can, can go to hell. Champagne for real friends and real, real pain, pain for, for sham friends. friends. Sir Mullins, you never were one for a social visit. So tell me, my friend, what is the nature of this visit? The same old king. Long live the king. Always to the point. But although it is your veranda, your house, have a seat. Uh, and same old Mullins, always a cloak and dagger. Oh, not much cloak. I don't believe your daggers are wrong. What I want to talk to you about is somewhat savage in nature. Hmm. Wow. News flies fast, eh? 